Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to mod any MDK Android game on your PC. So if you want to change the background, the clothes, or the weapons in your game, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is download the MDK game you want to mod on your PC. So, if you want to mod backwards, you're going to have to download it to your PC so that you're ready to mod it. Um, if you already have it on your Android, you can just transfer it over, but if you don't, you can just download it off of Google. You can download the original version or the, uh, an unlocked version if you want. It's up to you. Now, after you do that, the first program you're going to need to install is Java. And by the way, all the links to these will be in the description. So you're going to download and install Java to your PC. The next thing you're going to need is WinRAR. And when you're on this site... Uh, you're gonna download whichever one you prefer. I would download uh, the in the English section WinRAR X64 64-bit because I have a 64-bit operating system. And if you don't know which operating system you have, you would come down here to the start bar, right-click, and go to settings. And when settings opens, you're gonna click on system then you're going to scroll down to the about section and on the right hand side you should see uh, right beside system type I have a 64-bit operating system so you would download whichever version of WinRAR fits with your system type and after you have that downloaded and installed you want to come over to APK Easy Tool and if you click here, it's going to start downloading a zip file. Now, when that's downloaded, don't open it yet because we're going to do that part together. So just download this. Don't open the zip file. And we're going to go to the next site. The last thing you're going to need to download is aptool.jar. So when you're on this site, you're going to scroll down to aptool2.2.0.jar and click this and it should start downloading now that is all you need to download on your PC so let's review it all over again first you're gonna need your MDK game that you wanna mod you're gonna need Java WinRAR APK Easy Tool and APK Tool 2.2.0 .jar now if you have all of that downloaded on your PC you're ready for the second part of the video. Actually, before we hop into the second part of the video, I forgot about one other program you're gonna need to install. It's called JPEXS Decompiler. So when you're on this site, you're gonna scroll down and install whichever one fits your computer type. So I would install Windows since I have a Windows device. And you would install whichever one fits your device type. So again, the programs you're going to need to install is Java, WinRAR, APK Easy Tool, APK Tool 2.2.0.jar, and JPEXS Decompiler. So after you have all those installed, we're going to hop into the second part of the video. Alright, so on your PC you should have APK Easy Tool.zip downloaded. Uh, your MDK game and I'm gonna do hard time but if you want to mod any other MDK game it works with every MDK Android game so if you want to mod Super City it works you just follow my tutorial and you're gonna have APK tool 2.2.0 jar now the first thing you're gonna do is right click on APK tool zip and extract it to the folder And when you have that extracted, you're going to want to open this folder. And it should look something like this. Now you're going to open APK Tool and delete this. Delete APK Tool 2.4.0.jar. And after that's deleted, you're going to come over here to APK Tool 2.2.0.jar and put it inside of that folder. So. After that's done, you're going to open this folder again, and 
you're going to open up the program. I would open APK Tool X64 because I have an X64 operating system. But if that doesn't work for you, try the the regular one. So when that's open, you're going to want to come over to Options. And right here under APK Tool version, you're going to click it and click 2.2.0.jar. And when you do that, you're going to exit out of the program. And you're going to open it up again. Now you should have all these options in color now. Okay. Now you're going to come over to options. And if you see down here, you see decompiled APK directory and compiled APK directory. We are going to change that. So on your desktop, we're going to create two folders. We're going to create one called decompiled. So D compiled. So after that folder is created, we're going to create a new folder and call this one compiled. So you should have these two folders created on your desktop or wherever you want it to be. Now you're going to come over to DP decompiled APK directory and click change. And on your desktop, you're going to click decompile and click OK. That's the folder we just created. And right here under compiled APK directory, you're going to go to change and click on the compiled folder and click OK. So now yours should look something like this. OK. Now we're going to exit out of this folder and now we're going to start modding hard time or whichever game you download it so the first thing you're going to do is come up here to select and click it and on your desktop or wherever your game is downloaded you should see it so you want to click it double click and wait for it to load now for you it may take a long time but it went pretty fast for me. So after you have that loaded in, you're gonna click decompile and wait. And this should take a while, but uh, it will work. It may take a long time for you. So I'm gonna wait for this to load and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that this is done, you're gonna click okay and if you can see up here in our decompiled folder, there's another folder inside called Hard Time Prison Sim. Now yours would be named whichever MDK game you downloaded. But you're gonna wanna op open that folder and in the assets folder, you should see a game.swift file right here. So if you see that file, we're gonna exit out of this and now we're gonna don't exit out of APK Easy Tool, just minimize it. So now we're going to open up JPEXS Decompiler. Okay, so now when you have JPEXS Decompiler open, you're going to click on the open folder right here. And when that opens, uh, I'm going to click on the home button here to take me to the desktop. You would click you would uh, search this folder for wherever you downloaded your, well, wherever you have your decompiled folder at. But mine is on the desktop, so we would click the decompiled folder, come up to the hard time folder, assets, and game.swift. Now, when that is loaded, you're going to come down here to the images, click on images, and here are all the images you need. So uh, you would edit and replace any of these you need, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to change the background uh, of this game. Two backgrounds I want to change. 
I want to change the beach background, which is this one. And I want to change the London background. So to do that, you would click on both of these. If you want to select both of them, click one, hold control, and click on the next one. Sorry if you heard that, there's a truck outside. But you want to click on one, hold control, click the next one. And then you want to right click and hit export selection. And then click OK. And we're going to send this to the desktop. So you would click this button, which takes you to the desktop, and click OK. And it should create an images folder. Uh, somewhere. Ah, here it is. It created an images folder, which is right here. So now we have those two images in this folder. And you would, you know, take these images, take them into Photoshop, or, you know, do whatever you want uh, to change these images. Now, I already did that. So we're going to open, I'm going to open this folder. I already edited those files. So I'm going to change the beach background to this one, which I named beach top. Now, if you can see, if you hover over it, you can see that the dimensions say 1200 by 400 for the beach file. So you want to keep those same dimensions for the file that you're going to be replacing it with. So this is 1200 by 400 and the London is also 12 by 1200 by 400 and so is my other file. So I have all of these already done. So I'm going to exit out of that and to change these, you're going to click on the one. So I'm going to click on the beach file, right click and hit replace. And I'm going to come to the desktop, come to my backgrounds folder, which is here. And I'm going to select beach top. And you can see that is here. And if it takes you to something like this, you want to scroll back up and go back to images. Then scroll all the way to the backgrounds. And just past it here you can see it's now in the game so I'm gonna change this one as well click it right click replace and we're already in the backgrounds folder again so click on the one you want to replace it with so scroll back up images scroll down and to get this correct Ah, here we go. So we have both of these backgrounds uh, changed. So now you, you can do that with any file you want. If you want to change, you know, the hair files, just make sure they're all the same dimensions. Uh, because if they aren't the same dimensions as these images, it probably won't look good in the game. But you can experiment with that if you want. So. Now that you have this all done, you're going to come up here to save and just click it. And you can see the save button is highlighted right now. So when that is not highlighted anymore, it's saved. So you can exit out of this if you want, which I will right now. And you're going to come back to the APK Easy Tool program. And now that you have that done, you're just going to click compile. So when you click compile, it's going to take a while again to compile it. And I'll see you after that's done. Okay, so when that's done, you just see it say APK Easy Tool, sign successful. Now you're going to click OK. And if you open your compiled folder, you should see that I have hard time prison sim apk in this folder now when you have this all you're going to do now is transfer it over to your phone and install it and you should be done
So we're going to hop over to the phone now to see if it worked. Okay, so what you're seeing now is the unmodded version of the game. So as you can see, the background images are the original images. And when we install our APK, we should see our new images inside of the game. Okay, so as you can see, we now have our new backgrounds inside of the game. And remember, this works for any MD key Android game that you want to do. So if you want to do for Super City, Back Wars, Extra Lives, just follow the tutorial and it should work. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.